So why don't I show you some like things that you can do at home, like a quick DIY manicure yeah, of your nails. Perfect. Yeah, Thank okay. Yeah. So first thing, in a manicure, you should always do a little bit of work on the okay. cuticle, okay? Yeah. So the easiest thing to do at home and the safest thing to do, and you can do this, you know, whatever, at any stage of your treatment, as long as your nails aren't painful, okay. um, mm -hmm. is like you did, is put oil on. This time we're gonna use it as a, as a skin softener. Right. So while that is doing its little softening job, we're gonna file your nails. And again, contrary to what a lot of people think, is you must use the finest, finest file you can find in your chemist, supermarket, whatever. Okay. The finer, the better. Yeah. Because the harsher it is, it's, it's gonna traumatize the end of the nail. And you know like you get split ends with hair? Yeah. You get split ends on your nail. Oh, okay. And you can't necessarily see them, but eventually they will result in peeling. So if you've already got peeling, you're gonna make it much, much worse. So mm -hmm. the finer the file, better. And if you feel that, it's quite, far, yeah. quite mm -hmm. fine, is yeah. it? The finer, the better. So when you're filing, it's best to file sides to middle like that. Oh, okay. and, and angle the file slightly underneath as well, because that, again, that is safer for your nail. It's not causing any trauma. It's not, it's not encouraging any splits to occur. And by going sides to middle, you keep the shape even. File with a, a very fine file and then just very gently just take off the frilly edge yeah. and that's it. Yeah. So we'll just quickly go along each of the nails. It is worth, particularly if you have peeling nails, if you have thin, actually if you have any type of nail, yeah. but once your nails were at a stage where you could touch them during your treatment, mm -hmm. this applies to any sort of nail. Have a fine file and take just the edge off once a week. It's right. exactly the same effect as having your hair trimmed every mm -hmm. eight weeks. Okay. It's getting rid of the split ends. Okay, so we've filed your nails, and while we've been doing that, the oil has been there nicely softening that skin. Mm -hmm. And so the next thing we're gonna do is you're just gonna tidy up the frame of the nail. Now, that piece of skin that's at the end there has forever been called the cuticle. Do you yeah. know it as the cuticle? Yes, yeah. It isn't the cuticle. <laughs> it's actually part of the, part of your, the skin of your finger extending out onto the nail. And that is actually living skin. So one thing I don't want you or anybody else to either do yourself or let anybody in a nail salon do is to use an, an instrument like this yeah. and cut round. Because what they're doing is they're cutting off living skin. Mm. You can use a metal tool, there's nothing wrong with a metal tool, but make sure it's blunt. It's round like that and it's mm -hmm. blunt, if you feel. Yeah. There's no blade on that. And then you just gently tidy up. That's all you need to do. Okay. If you haven't got a suitable metal tool, then you can use uh, that flat end of a little orange wood stick, which you could mm -hmm. get anywhere. Mm -hmm. If you haven't got one of those, you could use a little cotton bud. Uh -huh. yeah. This is a little tiny thin one, which mm -hmm. you can use to clean up if you get any nail polish. Yeah. But even that, you can use yeah. just to ease it back like that. Or another thing you can use is you can get an oil pen. There are a few of them on the market, mm -hmm. which has got an end like that, like a felt tip pen, okay. and that's got oil in it. So you can use that just to, you feel how that, yeah, you just run nice. around, yeah. run around that frame of the nail like that, mm -hmm. just to tidy it all up. So the next thing you probably want to do, um, where you've filed your nail, sometimes you get some little frilly bits underneath of the nail, yeah. or you just want to clean your nails out. If if your nails are compromised in any way at all, don't be putting any sharp instruments down there of any description whatsoever. Okay. I would suggest getting something like that mm -hmm. or getting a little orange wood stick and putting a bit of cotton wool around mm -hmm. the end so there's nothing hard right. going down there. So you, just, you can just run that around the edge and that will get rid of yeah. any dirt that's under yeah. there or any of the, see the frilly bits of nail mm. that pop up and if they do pop up and they won't go away, just get your file and just very gently get rid of them that way. Okay. So now we've done a lot of the preparation work but there's a lot of oil on there now yeah. and oil is the worst enemy of nail polish because it makes it lift yeah. and makes it chip and just mm -hmm. doesn't stay on very long. So I'm just going to clean your nails yeah. and get rid of the oil that's on there. Now I'm using just an ordinary remover, but for home, for home use, if you're going to use a remover that is 
acetone free or if it's got conditioners in it which is which is fine yeah. it's not so drying then when you've used it then go and wash your hands afterwards yeah. because the conditioners actually leave a film on the nail and that again will stop nail polish from sticking okay, okay so we're time for the polish and you've got a nice dark one yeah. actually if, if you have any you know, if you don't like the look of your hands or you don't like the look of your feet mm -hmm. the best thing to do is to wear a bold nail polish yeah. because it takes the eye away that's from a, the bits that you don't yeah, like definitely. particularly with feet yeah that's a good idea um polish there are so many different polishes out there some of them are long wearing um some of them dry quickly i mean just so many right. and also one one quick thing in a, in a a bottle of colour polish. There are ball bearings, you can hear them. They're in there for a reason. Yeah. So do shake the polish. Okay. Make sure you shake it so you can hear those ball bearings working. Right. Not this that some people suggest because that does absolutely nothing. The ball bearings sit in the bottom and they're not mixing anything. Right. Good shake. Good shake. Okay. Good shake. Mm -hmm. Now when you've given a good shake, there's lots of polish stuck up in the lid. Yeah. So you have to make sure that you wipe all that off and I'm going to give you um, a quick little hint on how to paint any colour okay. as neatly as possible. So, wipe the brush off one side mm -hmm. and then the side that you've left the polish on is what you place on the nail. Place it on the nail, more towards the middle, press the brush down and the brush fans out slightly. Then just ease it back and use the curve of the brush to make the curve at the base of the nail and then use the length of the brush to come up the side and then go back use the curve of the brush for a neat edge and then use the length of the brush to come up the side and then one swipe down the middle a little swipe along the edge and you've got as neat a nail as you possibly can now i didn't put a base coat on with this and that's fine most nail polishes are quite okay not to use a base coat. Mm -hmm. It is good to use a base coat, I have to say, um, particularly one that dries matte because it will hold on to the nail polish mm -hmm. and it has more of an affinity to the natural nail plate. So if you've got a colour that's got a bold colour like this and it's still not giving you enough coverage, put three layers on. Okay. Nothing wrong with that and don't bother to wait for each coat to dry. It's a bit of a fallacy that that helps because the nail polish is full of solvents. So as soon as you put the next coat on top of a dry coat, it's making it wet again. Yeah, okay. So just keep going. Right. And then obviously there's a top coat. Top coat will make it last longer. Mm -hmm. Now I must say, putting on a top coat does bring out the colour, but you can, be really, you can be really quick with a top coat because you've taken care to get your edges smooth with your colour. Mm -hmm. But don't forget, as I said, seal the edges, it'll keep it going and then reapply it every, if, if it starts looking dull, reapply it. Yeah. And that's it, that's your little mm. DIY manicure, perfectly safe. Yeah. Makes you feel better. Much better. And you know what, with nails, I, the reason why I think people find nails so important is you don't have to look in a mirror to see them. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Because they're in front of your face, mm. particularly with today's smartphones and computers and they're in front of your face yeah. the whole day and if you catch a glimpse of them and you think I love that colour yeah, it's going to make that. you happy yeah, and you do, <laughs> love, that yeah, I do love that colour brilliant yeah, thank you thank you